Hello everyone, Mike with Newfound Past, back with your Tuesday haul video. Uh, this past weekend we were again very very picky, so I don't have a ton of items, but uh, about a thousand dollars resale value very quick on a Sunday. We didn't go to any garage sales again, uh, just find the garage sales around here to be just uh, more trouble than they're worth. This weekend in Northern Virginia it was just rainstorm after, after rainstorm, so it was a uh, haul nasty and floody anyway so but we got a few good things at the thrift stores not a lot like i said we were super picky matter of fact i only got two pieces of clothing which i think is a record low for me first i got this uh new balance new with the tags uh ireland a uh, real olympic like windbreaker full zip paid five bucks for this and it is a women's small but uh, should do okay with this. Not a lot of comps out there, but I, I might get I guess about 35, 40 bucks or so. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so got that. And we got this little rain jacket, hooded full zip rain jacket. It's a Marmot, which is a pretty good brand. Uh, double extra large, paid five bucks for this as well. And you know, 30 35 dollars again so that's the two thing two pieces of clothing we got i didn't even look at a lot of clothing because i didn't want to tip myself to get this tie brand new jerry garcia yes that jerry garcia from grateful dead uh 100 silk tie brand new with the tags paid a dollar for this so yeah um these ties are kind of all over the place but they sell you know between 20 and 30 bucks so that'll be okay got another little expandable accordion rack for to hang my coffee mugs off of off the walls always pick those up especially these heavy-duty birch ones so got this new philadelphia eagles blade putter cover paid full price for this four bucks no i didn't uh green and orange was half off already made a mistake two bucks for this i mean they only sell for 10 to 15 bucks but you know since philadelphia won the uh super bowl i figured ahead i figured i'd go ahead and pick this up funny story is this past season i lived in this this area for a couple of years close to dc but i've never been to a redskins game a friend of mine came into town and uh so we went to opening day here uh to watch the redskins play the eagles so when the eagles won and uh turns out they won the super bowl so we saw the super bowl winning team last year that was pretty cool anyway i picked these up when i see them i don't i don't see them that often anymore this is a uh under cabinet black and decker can opener box was ripped open paid five bucks for this full price but it's brand new i always carry i'm going to show you guys my keys one day i carry a separate key set that has a little knife on it and a little tape measure and because these places tape these shut so you can see where i cut it but i'm not going to walk out of there unless i see the item so i cut it open and this thing was brand new in there it has the foam on the bottom everything wrapped up in plastic so yeah i picked this up and this thing will sell 60 to 75 dollars or so so keep your eye out for those paid full price for this as well this is a nasa u.s space program this is a viking mars lander they made several different versions has it all on the back this thing sell between 30 and 40 about 35 dollars or so brand new in the package so yeah did okay on that so next we have this this is a uh i didn't know what this was when i came across it but what i you know i opened it up of course and it was only three dollars and fifty cents but this is a vintage rc controller you see it radio control system we can go ahead and just open this up it's not new but it's in its package still styrofoam and check that out isn't that cool and these things without the box sell 40 or 50 bucks so i'm hoping this one with its box and the original foam and everything i'm hoping it goes up to you know who knows 65 to 80 bucks or so we will see that'd be a really good sell check out the original price sticker on this thing 
80 bucks. Woo, doggies. That's a lot of money back then. Anyway. Next we got this GBC, this punch. This is a heavy duty. This thing is heavy. Personal punch and it does uh, several different uh, kinds of... It does these uh, ring... I don't know much about this, but I saw it and it looked different. And I looked it up and they had $9.99. We got a half off, so five bucks. And these things sell for 50 and 60 bucks. And it's like new with the box. So we have to pick that up. Something I did not look up, I'm challenging myself. But uh, I thought this would do okay. This is a, a command, a Sony Commander remote control. I did open it up and make sure, and it was new. Pay 10 bucks for it. So, you know, a little bit of a gamble. But I haven't even looked this up yet. So you guys look this up. Tell me how much this thing you think this thing's gonna bring. What, what should I list this for? I don't know, it may be 20 bucks. Hopefully it's 100 bucks. But you guys let me know, comment. What do you think? Oh, let me show you the model so you can get a good, up there. It's a RM AV2500. Yeah, so let me know, what do these comp for in new condition? I don't know, I didn't look it up. Next we have this Patterson Super System 4 developing tank. Got this for three bucks. Actually we got, no it wasn't 30% off, Never mind. We got paid three bucks for this and this was in new condition but the box was just, you know, wrecked. Talking about shelfware. This is the epitome of shelfware. But these tanks complete, and this one's new, sell so for 40, 45, something like that. So yeah, three bucks. Take that. Next we have this Dorsey. This is where this is where being curious is important in this. Because I saw this and I was like, oh that's cool. I remember these. But I was like, there's no way people still use these, you know, because this is antiquated. It has the cable, the speedo cable technology. But this is new, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna look it up. It's new. It's only five bucks. Yeah. Of course, they go for, you know, 50 bucks or so. So, yeah. I should have known better, but you know, old tech is just crazy. And this is brand new. Look at no miles on it. Matter of fact, I think I used to have one of these on an old mountain bike I had before I crashed and burned. And that's a whole other story. You should see the sprocket marks up the back of my leg from mountain biking. <laughs> oh, fun days. Uh, Liberty of London suspenders, brand new in the package. Uh, plain ones of these sell for twenty twenty five dollars. These with the blue and red stripes, not an exact comp, but we're thinking you know forty bucks or so. We got these for three bucks, brand new in the package. Yeah, people still wear suspenders. I like them. I don't wear them, but I like them. Okay, next we got this ugly, ugly frog bank. People may think it's adorable. Kind of looks like an alien to me, but this is from 1971. This is a Vinyl Products Corporation bank. Got it for three bucks. They sell for about $35. Now, I was hoping it'd be more, but yeah, about 35 bucks. He's in good condition. So I went ahead and picked him up. Next, we got this AT&T four handset system. $17.50, I opened this box up, and it was brand new. The only reason I got it, because if this was not brand new, I would have passed on it. Uh, yeah, should bring about $75 or so. I pick up these uh, phone units all the time, and I sell them quite consistently. Matter of fact, I think I'm down to one set. I've sold all the rest of them, either on Amazon or eBay. Yeah, so keep an eye out. Next, I got this vintage new foam. It's just a cushion, brand new piece of foam. It was three bucks at Goodwill. And these sell for about 20 to 30 bucks. I was kind of surprised, but since it was new, I looked, you know, my wife looked it up and uh, yeah. Maybe they don't make things like they used to and people like the old things, I don't know. These things is another gamble. So if you guys want to research this too and let me know. These are an industrial bracket. It is a triangle wall support bracket with hardware and it's used for uh, mounting solutions for low voltage applications. Uh, 
data tail, data tail, middle Atlantic products. I got two of these. They're brand new with the hardware. Uh, these were manufactured February 28, 2007. And I paid three three dollars each for these brand new couldn't uh I, you know i searched quick comps for these couldn't find anything but you know i've sold industrial stuff before and industrial stuff does really well so i went ahead and picked these up i got two of them so yeah let me know guys what do you think hopefully a lot of money <laughs> all right next we got these this uh flat 50 foot Cat 5e cable uh, 50 feet for four bucks not a ton ton of comps on these but you know for 50 feet of cat 5 that's flat you know I was like yeah this will be okay so I think this will sell you know 25 35 dollars or so my wife picked these up at Ambets these are uh, really cool vintage she looked these up as well these are a uh, corning wear you see that glass snap there's eight of these and the, the glass and this is glass comes out of this little base and you can use these in hot and cold like you can put coffee in here or just your drink you paid 99 cents of the for these 25 percent off so 75 cents for these got eight of them so you know seven bucks or whatever all in but comps are all over the place for these. Uh, as low as 15 bucks, all the way up to 60. But you know my, you know I've explained my philosophy before. There's two philosophies in selling. There is the slow dime, and the quick nickel. I'm a slow dime because I am lucky enough to be able to not have to sell this stuff quick. So I will just hang on to those because I will get 50 or 60 bucks out of those. If it takes a year, it takes a year. And that's just my philosophy. You don't have to be that way. Sorry, my phone is blinging. I should have silenced it. My puppy's prescription's ready to be picked up. See? Costco sends out to text alert. Both of my dogs have uh, started having, having kidney issues. So they have pills and special foods and all kinds of good expensive stuff. So you guys... Buy some stuff. <laughs> or I have a Patreon set up, you know. Give donate to my puppies. They were down here with me earlier, but they went back upstairs upstairs. They're they're lazy girls. I love them. Uh next we have this. These are like new. These are like brand new. Funny thing is, is I just sold a pair of uh Merrill sandals yesterday when we were sourcing. And then I got another pair. And I paid eight bucks for these. The ones I sold yesterday weren't in near as good as condition as these. These are like new. Somebody only wore these a couple of times. The ones I sold yesterday were, were mine. And I wore them, you know, vacations and all kinds of stuff. And they were kind of a wreck. The good thing was they still had their box. But I got 20 bucks for those and they were wrecked. And so I think these will bring, you know, 40 bucks or so. Merrill's a really good brand. And I love Merrill, but they don't sell half sizes above 12. These are a 15 and I wear a 12 and a half. Most companies don't sell half sizes above 12, but uh, Nike does, so I wear Nike shoes. Okay, we got this Le Cruzet trivet, and this is a bigger than normal trivet, and we got this for three bucks. These sell for about 30 bucks. The cast iron, enameled cast iron trivet. So we got a lot more coffee mugs than I thought we did, but uh, we were really picky, you know? We got this set of two uh, Starbucks holiday mugs from 2015. Got $2 for both of them. See the one out of two pieces. Paid full price, so a buck a piece for those. Don't know what the comps are, but I'm sure for the pair, you know, 25, 30 bucks or so. Let's get another pair of White Castle. What's weird is these are new with no spoon stir marks, but this emblem is a little bit faded. See? But oh well, it'll be fine. Got dollar and it's a two piece dollar ninety nine for both of them, so a dollar for both of them because they're fifty percent off, so fifty cents a mug. And this pair will sell for twenty twenty five dollars. Sweet. This little cool mug two thousand nine, Chorion, Little Miss Chat or something. My wife picked this one up. 
for the buck, but it'll sell for 12, 14 bucks or so. The Snoopy and peanuts. There was a lot of, there's obviously tons of peanuts and Snoopy mugs on, on eBay, but I could not find this one. This is almost like a pixelated sweater style mug. Got this for a 50 cents. Green and orange were half off. Brand new with the tag. So I'm hoping this will bring, you know, 20 bucks or so. We'll see. This one's cool. Check it out. It looks just faded. Well, it's done this way on purpose. This is a, uh, however you say that. They're being fancy, but Rodarte, Rodart, Rodart. Uh, it's a Starbucks travel mug. Paid two bucks for it. Uh, 2012 with the lid. Important. Pretty good condition. So, yeah. This will bring about $25 or so. Got three of these Eddie Bauer mugs. Show the weirdness of thrift stores again. Two of them marked $1.59, one of them marked 99 cents. There actually was a fourth one, but the fourth one had a huge chip out of it. So I was torn about just picking up two of them, selling as a set of two, or all three of them. Maybe selling all three of them, sell two in one listing, one in the other. I don't know. But they sell for about 15 bucks a piece, so whatever combination you want to use. I'm a sucker for Looney Tunes stuff, but this is only 50 cents. It's a Bugs Bunny and Yosemite Sam mug. Not even marked on the bottom. Bugs Bunny rides again. I liked it. No spoon star marks. Didn't even cop it. Okay, from 1992. So what do you think about this one, guys? 10, 15, 20 bucks? I don't know. We will see. Pete's Coffee. We love Pete's Coffee. Drink it every morning. Purple mug. Dollar. Nothing online. So 10, 15 bucks probably. Starbucks got these lips and a kind of an abstract artsy type 16 ounce mug from 2014 two bucks yeah good shape no, no spoon star marks and last mug a Starbucks barista 2003 holiday mug dollar and you know probably 15 bucks or so so I think that's it guys uh yeah, have any questions, comments, please uh, subscribe, spread the word, share. Um, yeah, help me out with the pricing on some of this other stuff. Yeah. And if you have any questions at all, you can private message me or just comment. You know I'll respond. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on Friday with our sold video.